Now in today's video, I want to talk about the imbalance trading strategy, exactly how you'll be able to use imbalances and understanding where you'll be actually applying this when looking for a trade. Now I'm also going to go through in today's video how you can apply this to the higher time frames. Normally we go through the lower time frames, but there are many traders out there who still don't have that time to trade the lower time frames. So today we'll look at actually taking a trade on a daily time frame and how you can use this with candlesticks to your advantage. Now that means we'll be starting on a monthly time frame. Yes, we're on a very high time frame, but bear with me and watch this video to the end to see how easy this is to apply on any single time frame. If you can apply these types of strategies on a monthly time frame, you can apply it all the way down to one minute. Now the best location when we're looking for a trade, if we're looking for any type of trade, we're either going to be looking for a trade off an area of supply or demand. So off an area of supply in the market, you'll be looking for a trade to come into an area of previous supply. Now if you're not sure how to draw those zones of supply and demand, there are many videos in this channel to help you to understand how to do that. And also you'll find a link below in the description of this video today. You'll be able to go through and get that free course which will go through the basics of supply and demand. Now of course if you're looking to take things even further there are a couple of courses inside the actual website where you'll be able to go through the advanced supply and demand training course or you can join up to that master class today where you'll actually go through supply and demand and smart money concepts not to mention the help and support you get inside that Discord community. So you're either looking at an area of supply and demand when looking for a trade, or we're looking at previous highs and lows in the market. You can see how the market pips above, sweeps that high, and we drop away. You can also see how the market came back into this area of supply, and you've got a trade. Now the final way, which is actually about in this video today, is you can look at the use of imbalance for your entry. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to look at this area on the chart, to how you can actually have caught a trade here, understanding the imbalances in the market and the use of previous highs and lows. So let's clear everything off this chart. I'm gonna go closer into price and we're gonna actually take a look at this area on previous price. So the first thing you need to understand is where's price been going? Well, we can identify that price broke out of this previous high and we left this previous high low. Now you can see that price is actually now being held at this area. We can see price has bounced off on many occasions. We're now coming back to this previous low and we'll be looking for price to either break through this level now to show us the continuation to sell this market or we'll be looking for price to show us another bounce to the upside. Now you can easily identify what happens here when we have this previous high low in the market is broken to downside. Now if we were to go to a daily time frame where you'd be looking to take your trades, you'll be able to find here an area of an entry which will go through at this here on the chart, how you could use the imbalance and the use of supply and demand. What we're actually going to look at now is this spike up above this previous broken structure to downside. You can see here we have the low of this candle the high of this candle which leaves us a gap in the market. This is the area of imbalance that you'll be looking for an entry of. So this is an area of imbalance that we can see on a monthly time frame. Now remember, an imbalance will be on any time frame, just like an area of supply and demand. And it's here you can witness and see that we have a push into this previous structure break, a high, we create another high, and that's creating equal highs, where we have an area of liquidity in the market and we have a push up taking those highs into this era of imbalance and we drop all the way back down to the previous lows. Once you understand it's those highs and lows in the market which will generate those areas where you're looking for a trade, it will become much more natural for you to find an entry. Now we've actually gone through a monthly time frame here basing our area of direction using the highs and lows on a monthly time frame. Now once you've done this, you can drop down to that area on a daily time frame where you can start to look for those trades. So we're going to use the previous area where we see price pushing up into. Now you can witness here by looking at this area on the chart right here, we can see the highs are being held below this level. We have a final push through and a drop back down. Now it's this area we're looking at is this candlestick 
on a daily. Now we see a nice bearish candle to downside. This is where you could have looked to pull the trigger based on this candlestick. Or you could have waited for the market to break structure. We do have a structure break here in the market. We break through, we pull back and we drop away. We pull back once again. And we see that we pull back into this area of supply. We could have called a trade to the downside. It doesn't matter whether you're looking for entry of an area of supply or an area of imbalance or you're looking for those highs and lows to be removed. It's always going to give you a trade once you understand those higher time frames. Remember, it's all important that you do your top down analysis. So looking back, we're going to see that the market not only did it take and remove this high in the market, we also removed this high and we removed this high in the market. So this one candle here wicks up. In fact, we already closed this high, so we remove this one. You can see that we wick up through these two previous highs. Now what that's doing is taking previous stops. It's an area of liquidity in the market where their stops are sitting, it's been removed and taken, and we see the market dropping away. But if you look more closely, we also have sitting right here in the market, drag this across, is our area of imbalance. So there's your area of imbalance where price wicks through those previous highs, collects those orders inside that area of imbalance, which is basically a block of orders being left behind. Now, if you want to learn more on imbalances and how to trade these, then that is all inside that Forex Masterclass, and you'll be able to learn exactly how you can use this combined with a supply and demand and smart money concept. Now, if you do want to check out the Forex Masterclass today, you can check out below the description of this video and you can go through and find out more on how you can join today. Now there was an entry. Now before that, I did say we saw this reversal here in the market. We have this area in the chart with this high, we've dropped down, we made this low, we pulled back this lower high. So it's right here you could have caught a trade. Now on this occasion, you can apply the same technique just went through on that monthly time frame. You're looking for where the market's going to break that structure. We break structure here to downside. Now one, we have an area here of supply. So we have an area of supply left behind. But remember what I said at the beginning of this video, it's important to understand where your previous highs and lows sit. This is our previous high. This is the area we wanna see the price take, where it's gonna take those stops. And what do we see sitting just above that area? Just mark this level out. We have our area of imbalance. That's where those block of orders are sitting above this previous high. Now we do have just above there as well, this leftover area of imbalance. You can see that gets filled on that next candle. We push up into the next area of imbalance. Now we don't quite go into the supply zone, but it's okay because we see on this bearish candle, nice wick up, close bearish back below this previous high. That's where you can look to sell this market all the way back down to these previous lows. Now it does take some time to get there, but we do get there eventually. This would have been the first low. You can see we do hit that low and then we eventually go to the next low. Now in this area, you could go down to lower time frames. You can be looking for that trend reversal or that confirmation entry change of character for that entry at this area to go short. Now, all of this, you can learn more inside this channel. Now, if you want to learn it in much more detail and fast track your success in trading, I do suggest checking out the Forex Masterclass because everything has been packed step by step inside that course, not to mention the extra education you will get inside the private Discord community. So that is how you can apply this type of technique with the use of the imbalanced trading strategy and understanding that those previous highs and lows will work on any time frame. This is a daily time frame. We saw these entries you could have taken, where it was this entry here with that reversal. And again, you could go down to lower time frame heads, look for a better entry. But going back to the monthly time frame, we also looked at some monthly time frame. We could see where the market is likely to go based on the previous highs and lows, where we see the break of structure, break of structure, we have previous highs. Here you can see the market. Yes, that's more easier to see perhaps on a daily time frame, but understanding that these highs are where the market's going to want to go to take those stops into the area of supply and demand, 
or into the area of imbalance. That's why it's important you have a good understanding of not just supply and demand, but you need to understand some smart money concepts where the market's going to make those manipulations to find those block of orders. Now those block of orders are what are hidden inside those areas of imbalance. Now I do hope that you have enjoyed this video and understanding how you can apply this type of strategy into your own methods. If you have, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. It's going to help me to know that you are enjoying these videos today and I'll continue to do this type of content for you in the future. Now, if there's any questions at all you have on today's video, don't forget you can leave a comment below this video. Ask me anything on today's video and we can go through it together to hopefully help you going forward in 2022 in your own trading. But popping up right next is a video I previously did, which is going through the institutional order flow trading strategy. It's a simple way for you to understand and read those markets, and it will change the way you see those markets once you understand how you can use order flow with this type of strategy.